we're going to show you how to make an upcycled synthetic wine coaster coffee mug um, hot pad thing. Uh, don't use these for hot pads for melting your, I mean, putting your pots and pans on on the stove because we're going to make these using heat and if you put a hot pan on this it will melt. So no, synthetic corks do not make good hot pads, but they make great coasters for wine glasses, coffee cups, whatever. We'll show you how. We're going to use a small collection of synthetic wine corks that we confiscated from the bar of a wedding reception for some friends of ours, so we're going to make some coasters for them. So it's just a collection of just everyday synthetic used wine corks. These synthetic wine corks here measure about one and a half inches so we're going to make five incisions by cutting them into fifths to get about, what is that, a quarter inch a piece? Yeah. Cuts real easy. We find that if you rotate it, it helps it uh, so you don't cut off chunks. So we did do some chunks earlier, but there's plenty of corks to work with. So take your time, make sure it's cut, don't cut, see what happens when you pull it. So if you cut it all the way through instead of waiting and then just yanking it apart, you'll have a smoother cut. Just keep cutting, cutting, yeah, that makes it smooth. So there you go, into fifths. I'm using a non-stick pan, but I still want to use parchment because you're melting plastic on it. And uh, I guess to be concerned, plastic can cause fumes, so run a fan if you need to. Right now I have it on a, uh, a, a low, low, medium temp, and then they should start to uh, get a little soft. Had it on the heat, probably a minute or so, and you can start pressing it with your finger. If you want to use something else, fine. Sorry, there's no manicure here. You'll see how it starts to melt, and I'm not pushing all the way to the pan, to the bottom of the pan, but this will have them stick to each other. Now that they're getting this melty and sticky, I'm just going to use a spatula and I'm not worried about using parchment because it's not going to stick. The tops of the corks are cool and then I'll just keep pushing. And while it's warm you can still manipulate and scoot things over at the same time if you need to like that. And so we're, we're just going to keep melting and squishing right now. Now that I've squished to my heart's content real easily, they smear and stick together. I just remove it, the spatula with the parchment, set them aside to cool, and then you should be able to peel it now off the parchment. Now that our parts have cooled, we're going to just um, peel it off from the parchment, and you should have a, there you go, all in one piece. Um, do notice that we may have a piece here that's not stuck. You can put that back on the burner and do some more melting, but uh, there's pretty much your coaster. Again, you'll see some of these down as hot pads. If they're synthetic, do not stick a hot pan on them because you see what happens when they touch a hot pad.